All right. Well, uh, once again, uh, I'm very pleased. <laughs> okay, I'll introduce myself. Thank you. Uh, first of all, it's very nice to see all of you here. I'm David Llewellyn Jones. You may know me as Fly Pig on the forums. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy that so many people have come. Uh, I know not just from inside Germany, but from all over the world to Yola's 10 year anniversary event. Um, and so, without further ado, I'd like to introduce our very first presenter, Sami Pianimaki, who will tell you more about uh, everything that's happening. All right. Thank you. Thank you, David. Thank you all. Extremely happy to be here and welcome you all to join to celebrate your last 10 years birthday, which is actually exactly today. 10 years ago, in 2011, we carried the papers with the co-founding partners to the trade registry in Finland. And it's been an amazing story, an amazing journey. Uh, I will walk you through some of the most memorable moments. You may recognize even your own faces here and there. Uh, let's talk about the Yolla story, how it went, and, and also, of course, towards the end, let's, let's see where we currently, currently stand at. So, um, just a recap, uh, you may all... Oh, sorry. Uh, the starting point very much for our journey, of course, was uh, the fact that we were developing, most of the team was developing MIG operating system in Nokia in a, in a big operation there. And we got an excellent start uh, there as, as Nokia decided to, to, to divest the investment to MIGO we saw a golden opportunity to actually continue that agenda. It was an open asset already at that point. There was a great community around it, which really helped us to, to take the agenda, agenda forward. Also, a very good solid hardware. We all remember the iconic Nokia N9 at the time, more than 10 years ago, was really a, 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 a forerunner in gesture-based uh, user experience and excellent hardware that was a really good starting point for us to, to, to start to establish our own, own asset and agenda. Very much an open platform, as we all know, and that's how it was able to get started. Uh, the inception of Yolla, you could say, really happened in 2011. Here is a nice picture, actually, I found from the records. I don't know if it's been in public earlier, but now it is. Actually, the founding team, so we have Stefano there, you see Antti and, and Mark, and I'm probably the one who's been taking the picture as I'm not featured in the picture there, but really a, 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 a key moment in the, in the very inception of the, of the company uh, back in 2011. And as stated, it was exactly this very date, October 14, 2011, as the company got registered to the trade registry under, under the name of, of YOLA. Uh, we started to hire uh, a lot of people joined the company in early 2012. Actually, the company grew up to, up to 60 people already by the time of summer. So it actually, we really, really started big time uh, the operation. We started to develop Selfish operating system. Uh, we actually then came to launch Selfish UI in SLUS in 2012. At those days who were there, like Carol, you must remember, uh, it was actually a very small event. I think we were talking about 1,000 visitors maximum or something like that, and we had the whole company there on the, on the, on the, sta uh, on the stage there in SLUS as we were announcing the Selfist UI to the world. A very remarkable moment from the, from the history of the company, and I truly welcome those who are, who are live here today to see also some of the demos there we've been carrying forward with us, so, so you can see even the original motherboards and stuff there on the, on the table that we used to demonstrate the Selfies UI World Premiere in SLUS 2012. Uh, then further we continued, uh, we, we, we were really, really looking for a hardware partner for, for ourselves, that was very difficult actually at that point. Uh, uh, we went around the world like crazy together, with the, with the team, and we were really looking at uh, a device vendor who would opt in uh, to, to take Selfies OS uh, to their offering uh, together with us. 
Uh, we went quite far, and we almost succeeded there, I would say, because we even managed to, 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 to hook up together with a chipset vendor. We launched the very first uh, Sailfish hardware together with ST Ericsson in MWC 2013. Here is a picture from the, from the stand there. Now, what then, unfortunately... Uh, we are changing a mic. Okay, okay. That's fine. Is this on now? Yeah. So... Uh, what unfortunately happened then is that ST Ericsson decided to, 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 to stop the whole mobile business. So, uh, as, it, as, as the saying goes, together with the water, we, we went down there. We didn't have a hardware. Uh, just overnight, practically, it happened to us and really pushed us into a crisis in 2013 that we were just launched the very first product concept to the world, and, and then we were told that we don't have a support from the chipset vendor anymore. So we had to really reinvent ourselves. And that's what we did. We, we figured out that no matter what, we are going to do a phone ourselves. And that's how we created actually the Yolla phone in, in, uh, in to the early 2013. We, we agreed that uh, we are going to launch it. We, we called the day in May called Yolla Love Day. We invited all our dear friends and, and, and fans, community reporters, uh, to join us in Helsinki in a nice day there. And we had a Yolla phone sneak peek in a way uh, that we were showcasing the early prototype concept of our own product, our own hardware featuring Selfies OS, world premiere to the, to the world. We, in a way, you could say that we, in a way, we ended up of being a device vendor ourselves because we couldn't hook up together with an existing device vendor to opt into Selfies OS. So we had to prove to the world that actually the software itself is mature enough in the front of real end users, be it consumers or the community and so forth, so that, that we actually have a valuable asset in the software. And that's why we created the Yolla phone. We went, went uh, very far with that. We got uh, excellent media attention. There was a lot of, lot of excitement around the world globally. We got featured in, in all the ma major international medias, be it Financial Times or Wall Street Journals or, or Forbes or, or one of the cover pages in the leading leading uh, magazine in, uh, in, in Finland, Helsingin Sanomat there. We, we really got, got hit by a storm of the media attention globally in 2013 with our, our idea of actually really pulling off a totally different kind of a smartphone to the market that was, that was really all, all that time, already by that time looking so, so much the same or all featuring Android there. Now, at the same time, we were truly a challenger, and this, actually, this picture really, really uh, by, by a graphical designer from Helsingin Sanomat really captures the essence of the, of the feeling we got there, that we had these, these massive uh, uh, container ships or, or passenger ships of the, of the big brands, and we are going there with, the, with our small Yolla boat, being much more agile and being able to move around between those guys and they don't even see us being there in the, in the sea. And this, this image, image really captures the, the, in a way, David and Goliath type of, uh, type of uh, setup that we, we started with. Then we went to, to launch, actually, the, the product. Uh, we looked for a partner. We actually found a very, very good partner, DNA Finland, a, a cellular, one of the leading cellular operators in Finland, uh, really loved our story uh, and, uh, and agreed together with us that uh, we, will, we will create a world premiere uh, introduction to the market of the Yolla phone in Finland together with them. And these pictures are actually very nice pictures. I want to bring some memories out of here. This is in a central square uh, uh, camp in, uh, in, in, in Helsinki where we had 500 people queuing for hours and hours to get their hands on the very first Yolla, Yolla phone. And you can imagine there it's, it's towards end of November, it's raining and windy, and, <laughs> and it's not really the most pleasant place to be standing for hours. But luckily there were also some service, like you can see the Boy Scouts serving sausages or something there in the middle, so you could, don't get totally starving there. 
So, so, but the really memorable moment, people were extremely excited. People traveled uh, abroad uh, to Finland to just to pick and be, be the, really the first ones to actually, actually get their hands on the, on the YOLA smartphones. Here is actually our, our, our early adapter, our friend Mr. Henry Huttunen featured there. He was actually literally, literally the very first one because he, I think he came there, I don't know, somewhere in the morning on the queue to just make sure that he's actually the guy. I think he's there. <laughs> so, that he's literally there in the first to, to, to run and get his device. So really, really nice memory, memory there. Back from November 2013. Uh, then we continued, of course, we had created the, the, the Yolla phone. We had created selfies always, a lot of excitement around it. Uh, so we continued in refining and expanding there. With, with expansion, we, we really made it big. So we actually started, this is something that you may not recall, but we actually started to sell the Yolla devices, Yolla smartphones, close to 40 different countries all around the world. We, we launched the product in Hong Kong, this feature, uh, this picture from Hong Kong launched together with a local cellular operator, Tree, uh, Hong Kong. Uh, we launched big time in, in India, with one of the leading online platforms there, Snapdeal, uh, there, uh, together with them, a very big launch. This actually also from the Hong Kong launch. Uh, we, we, we launched also in quite exotic places, like in, in Kazakhstan here, I'm, I'm free with my friend Mark there, <laughs> playing, uh, I don't know what's the name of this, this instrument there. Uh, and then in, in places like Namibia there, so, so also a bit of exotic places, but really we were going around the world and launched all together in 38 countries this, this magnificent product. And it was, it was really, really fun and, and interesting and really teached us a lot also about the market and how fierce is the competition there and so forth. Then further we went in Selfies 2, we also created a tablet. Not only that the tablet uh, program itself was, uh, was one, of the, one of the first early runner uh, crowdsourcing programs in, in Europe. It, we actually hit the record in, in, in fundraising, in crowdsourcing in 2014, being really an early, early bird there with the, with the crowdsourcing phenomena. Uh, but it was very important for the asset itself. And there's a couple of reasons why it was so important. By, by turning literally the user interface from being a vertical to a horizontal, it pushed us really to think about the scalability of the UI. Much bigger screen, uh, uh, horizontal, you need to scale all the components and so forth. Secondly, it was based on Intel x86 architecture, very different to ARM architecture. Once again, a very solid proof point that we actually have a horizontal platform that can scale to different form factors, but also to different hardware architectures. And this, really, this, this product itself really pushed us uh, to, to the limit to, to really showcase to the world that, that, that this can be actually done once you have a proper horizontal operating system asset like we have with Selfies OS. We went further uh, with that. We, of course, uh, uh, pushed the program there with the tablet. We, we pushed Selfies OS. We, we, we sold Yolla's phones and so forth. Uh, we got a lot of recognition also for the tablet with our small company and with our very limited resources and marketing budget. We actually won the Best of Show Award in MWC Mobile World Congress. Uh, the key, key event of the, of the industry in 2015, we, we won the best of show award with our Yolla tablet. And that's, that's definitely a very memorable moment there also featuring our stand there in, in MWC. But then uh, it, it came very difficult also at the same time. Uh, we were running extremely high uh, working capital requirements because of the hardware business. Uh, we got some problem with the, with the production of the tablet. You all know about that. Uh, and it got us really into a problem. And thus we had to totally 
pivot our business. So what we, we ended up actually in 2015-16 is that, that we really pivoted our business. We, did, we had to, we, we really pushed uh, ourselves to change the company and the strategy of the company. We had to ditch the consumer business, we had to ditch the, 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 the hardware and the device business all and actually reinvent the strategy of the company and really, really focus this, this to, a, to, a, to a new area. And what we did is actually that we found ourselves that there is actually a very good, uh, solid market area when it comes to offering this kind of an asset to B2B market, business to business market, enterprises, and even enterprises serving, serving governmental customers around the, around the world. And this is what we started actually to, to do in 2016. We, we really pivoted the, the business model so that, uh, that we actually licensed the Sailfish operating system under a full source code license to, to our customers. They get full access to all the tool chain, all the documentation, the software, and so forth, so that we help them to establish an independent software environment in their own, 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 own premises or in their own environment. We really, really changed the business model of the company and the strategy of the company towards business-to-business -to -business customers. Very radical change. At the same time, the company changed a lot. All of a sudden, uh, back in 2015, uh, uh, I don't know, July, August, something, we were 130 people. Then when we come to Christmas, I think we were like 20 people. We ran out of money. Our, 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 our finances got delayed and so forth. We really had to reinvent the company, but we survived. We survived since we reinvented, we pivoted, uh, we, we, we changed our strategy and we found a much more focused software-only business model for, for ourselves. And that really made us survive. Very key moment. Now what happened is that we went around the world and started to find our customers. We got a very good leading customer actually from Russia. Then we, we also licensed the asset to China, to, 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 to Brazilian market, to South Africa, and so forth and so forth. And we started to gather customers for that. Then what we wanted to do also at the same time is that as we were no longer a device vendor, you couldn't, as a community member or as a fan of Selfies and Yolla, you couldn't experience the latest and the greatest software if you don't have a device, and we were no longer selling devices. So thus we found actually a very good collaboration together with the Sony Open Devices program, and we established our community program, which is called Selfies X. Also still very live and kicking, kicking today, we'll come to come to some, some, some news on that in a, in a moment. But Selfies X is really a designated program for all the fans, friends, community members, hackers, tech heads, whatsoever, who want to enjoy the latest and the greatest of Selfies OS in their own daily driver use as a smartphone. This is really our offering for that, and we established that in 2017 and 18, uh, uh, and, and featuring particular Sony Xperia models. So what does YOLA 2 do today? So what we can say very genuinely is that we certainly have a unique world-class asset. We offer Selfies OS transparently. It's an open platform. Our customers, be it community members, or be it our licensing customers, they really get a transparent access to the software that they are using and enjoying and further develop. We provide independence for those who acquire a license from Selfies OS. You can truly build uh, local independent assets using, using, using the software that we provide. We have a very unique, world-class, actually the only one in the world who is truly in the market with Android application support on a Linux platform. This is a, this is a mature asset that we have introduced to the market. You remember already in 2013, featured in the very first Yolla, Yolla smartphones, actually uh, nowadays also available as a standalone licensable component. The user experience has always been very much at the core of our offering. 
we want the software, the operating system, to be really usable so that you can actually use it as your daily driver, so that there is not, not too much of, of a burden to change from your, from your iPhone or Android or whatever, so that you can, you can take Selfies OS nicely into use, but at the same time, it's also very unique and distinctive user experience. This is, this is very feature, feature for Selfies OS. And the developer experience. And there will be certainly further talks on that later uh, by my colleagues there, but having a world-class developer experience definitely is something that, that, uh, that has been always, always in our core. But this is truly what we, what we offer, and nobody else with these tick boxes is offering at the moment in the, in the world. A couple of things about Selfies X. Uh, so it's going nicely, it's going forward, and we are happy to announce actually today, maybe you saw in my blog post earlier, that we will be continuing supporting the latest generation of Sony Xperia 10. Also, the Sony Xperia Mark 10 will be featured and coming as the next reference device for the Selfies X program. We are working hard together with the sailors and together with you guys, some of you from the community also very, very active there. Let's target to have it in the early 2022 on the market, but this is really, really what we are aiming for and, and, and it's currently looking good. There are demos there on the table, table that you can, you can touch, touch on it yourself. Further, there is always a demand and request that can you sell this in new markets? And now we finally have found a way to do, actually do that and we are happy to announce that we will be featuring new markets starting in early 22. We are targeting to open their sales in phases in, in of course, back to the UK after the Brexit, uh, to going to the US markets, Australia, New Zealand, and so forth. We are openly looking all the, all the markets that actually have a demand where we get requests that can I purchase self is X that we, we can finally enable those starting on early 22. So that's very good news uh, for all the fans and, the, and, and friends of, of Selfies and Yolla that, uh, that this Selfies X program also continues very strong and starts to serve, serve your needs. So that's pretty much what I had uh, as, as, as opening words, welcoming words, a little bit of recap of, of, of Yolla history there. Uh, a really, really big thank you for all. I'm so proud to be here. Uh, in front of you all, cheering this company, company together with you and, and steering it forward for the next 10 years of, of great selfies offering and offering really a freedom of choice to all of us, all of us in, the, in the world. Thank you. I would also like to welcome uh, my friend Joana to talk more about what's actually happening under the hood, not only CEO talk. <laughs> so, so, thank you, Joana. Welcome. Our chief architect, Joana Petre. Hey. Hey. Uh, yeah, sure. I don't know how to use this, but I'm sure you hear me, I guess. All right. Uh, did you have a Questions for Sami? Uh, is it? No, no, we are here. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna talk to you about recent developments in our products, whether it's selfies or app support um, or, 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 or uh, developer offering. Uh, so 2021 was really exciting year for us. We have so much happening. I'm gonna go through a bit on, on, on what, what has happened in 2021 but also a bit of what, what will happen. It's still not the end of the year, and we have a couple of releases still coming and cooking up. First of all, it's been a great year for the dev developers. So uh, in May, we released the Selfies 4.2.0, and, and with that, a lot of the critical APIs that the application developers have ask, been asking for. But then also in 4.3.0 and 4.4.0, which are the subsequent releases, we are still uh, opening up more and more APIs. And this is like one area where we are now really 
uh, putting much more effort than, uh, than, than, we, than we could in, in, in the, with the pre previous priorities of the company. Um, if I go through these, um, they not, may not tell everything, everybody that much what they are, but so first of all, sharing API. So if you are developing an application and, and you have a content in your application, that's not worth much if you cannot share it outside the device, whether that's an online service, whether that's a physical device like uh, you want to share it over Bluetooth, uh, you want to share it uh, over cellular network with MMS or, 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 or whatnot. Um, uh, you, you don't want to be developing with Bluetooth APIs and you don't want to be kind of going through all of that messy things and the sharing API helps you with that. You just have to use the sharing API and, and, and you can um, uh, you, you get integration to, to, to various different use cases and you get a lot of, lot of more value out of your app application. And we did have sharing before, but one big thing now is that uh, um, like we basically rewrote the architecture for security point of view, and this allowed us now to open it up, up for, for, for applications. And, and I, I'm, I'm personally, well, it's one of the most exciting ones here. Uh, the second real nice thing is the WebView API. So we already had WebView API before, but it was getting old, uh, not that compatible. And now we are kind of, uh, we opened up uh, API for engine, a browser engine uh, that's actually Firefox based that we use in the, thank you, selfish uh, browser. So it's much more modern, it has really nice performance. Um, it, it is compatible with all the latest websites and then now kind of third party applications and, 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 and our customers can, can really develop features and, and value on top of our platform. And one, one uh, that's kind of related is the web authorization API. So that provides access to OAuth2 authentication, which is the industry standard for, um, for getting access to different cloud services. And then really like any kind of non-trivial, any kind of uh, productized applications basically re re really need to do this OAuth2. So this is really helping, helping a lot of imp uh, co important applications and adding value to the, to the operating system. Uh, third one, Empress API. It's, a, it's like a media API, so if you are developing a media application, uh, it's a bit similar as sharing in the sense that um, as a media application, you don't, you don't want to um, worry about Bluetooth, uh, wired headsets, uh, with, uh, how, how does the platform um, handle the different uh, volume handling stuff, audio, audio controls, album art, uh, when, when, when you have different peripheral devices or, or, or user is... Uh, changing between um, songs in the, in the lock screen of the, of the, of the operating system. So the uh, Empress API kind of lets you integrate to the, much better to the operating system. Uh, camera API, um, we already had camera API, this is kind of a uh, recurring theme, but we really developed that for, for our own platform camera application. And uh, what we have now done is that uh, we made dozens of fixes so that uh, it, it is much more, it can support much more different use cases that different th third party applications have. You don't have to worry that much about kind of making sure that your camera application will, 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 it, will it run on all the different 50 different selfie source devices, but, but kind of we abstracted that away and, 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 and it's, it's much easier now to, to develop this kind of cross, cross application, application uh, the, uh, camera. Uh, use cases. So the camera API, a bit like, like what does camera API do? Uh, you can take photos, you can record videos. It's, there's, there's quite much, uh, much of different functionalities there and, uh, and that, that, that applications can use. Then uh, to the our crown jewel of a product, Selfish Operating System. Uh, one exciting thing is the 64 support we rolled out earlier this year. The first device was the Xperia 10 Mark II. Uh, uh, it was not only the device, it's also the developer offering SDK uh, store. There's been a lot of things that, that we had to enable to, to get really the 64-bit support working. Um, we rolled out sandboxing, a security feature on Selfies 4 last year. But I think this year we can really say that it is... Um, which we are truly kind of have enabled it. Enabled it. We have been much more kind of uh, limiting uh, the data that applications can access to, 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 uh, to the data they need and, 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 and kind of 
I don't know, if you are do, doing a banking application, you really want to make sure that others don't access your data. Uh, we, we, uh, we, if you have uh, operating system services and, and, and whatnot, uh, when, when user installs applications, they want, want to make sure that the, the, the applications only has access to what, what it really needs. And, and, and there, uh, the third-party application support is now coming in, in, in the upcoming releases. And then so we, we have the sandboxing really enabled across the stack. Um, on the center, you see the screenshot. Uh, it's the, our working, working feature, which we are now finishing, is the alphanumeric encryption. There was a really nice uh, version also that the community was developing. Um, so, uh, but, but this is, um, we already started this, uh, earlier this early, early, earlier this year and have been kind of independently developing, and it, it is um, looking good, and, and, and it's really, uh, one of those things, like uh, I, th I think it was selfish three where we enabled uh, data encryption, but but to, to really get uh, true kind of hard security, you, you really need to have not other other uh, like full passwords instead of just pin codes. So um, this alphanumeric encryption can can get us there. Um, Xperia 10.2 was a unique device also for selfish uh, and, and for for Yolan in, in the sense that it supported multiple cameras. And what enabled it is, is, is what there was quite big um, refactoring of, the, of, of our, our, our camera application. And, and it's not only the multiple cameras that it will give, but we are expecting that it, we, it will give us easier way to implement different modes later, like whether it's like HDR filters and whatnot. So I'm kind of excited that, that in the upcoming releases we'll have, have more, more cool features there. Something that's maybe topical, especially for, for, for the German audience, is the, is the Volte. So we, there's a lot of community uh, approaches that, that kind of the operators are facing out the 2G, 3G networks, uh, and then that kind of the, you, you, for, to run a phone, you really need, need this uh, 4G, 5G, newer generation um, uh, call, call methods called Volte. If you buy a phone in, in the operator store, it's not really, you don't see Volt anywhere, it's a technical term. What you might, might see like HD voice or, or a secure voice calls, but, um, but that's the kind of the technology behind it. And it's, it's basically this kind of a real time communication framework because it's not only, only about voice, it's also about secure messaging and, and a lot of, lot, of, lot of other things. And we have a, we have a uh, like working the, uh, prototypes and then we are now currently maturing it and then we are targeting to get uh, the Xperia 10 Mark II would, I guess, be the first one uh, in the early 2022 that, that would uh, enable Volta. <laughs> All right. Um, browser, I think this is worth highlighting. We have done so much work there, and it, it's, it's, it's got one of the pillars of, of, of the operating system. Uh, in Selfies 4, that released on November last year, uh, we did a um, like major rehaul for the for the browser, but the actual the work has has been continuing all all this time, and, and and we are now preparing to roll out the next major upgrade uh, for from uh, version 60 to version 78 of the of the Firefox based engine, and and it contains two years worth of compatibility and, and security fixes, and then in, in these digital products, two years is out. It's a really long time, so it, 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 it provides really nice, nice, nice improvements. And especially like the performance, uh, there's both the JavaScript and CSS performance that has been improved. Uh, there's, this will be the first version of the Selfish browser, which enables uh, a quantum CSS engine, uh, which, which, which should, should give, give really nice boost, boost to the daily usage. In addition to the engine, uh, there has been a lot of work in the up, up UI. Uh, since the Selfies 4, there has been already counted almost 300 commits in the, in, in the application repository, which is in open source, and you can follow it, follow it from there. The, the, uh, and and it's, there's a lot, lot kind of happening there, like there's, there's settings to uh, the toolbar, uh, there's a lot of new like permission controls, there are like uh, password management, history, a lot, and it's really kind of becoming really, really nice, nice mobile browser we can all, all be proud of. And, and not all of these have been uh, released in the, in, in the latest service OS versions, but so expect to see these daily usage improvements in, in, in all the time rolling out when you, when you try out.
uh, when you get uh, upgrades to, 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 the, to the new versions of the service operating system. And finally, but not at all, uh, it, I, how do I say it? There are, App support used to kind of be a necessity for service operating system. Like we, we had to support Android applications, but I think like it, it's nowadays it's really like like Sami Sami's been discussing. It's really like an own, own product now, and and and, and um, uh, we rolled out the Android 10 support early this year. Uh, but what I want to highlight today is that is how the Android apps are really kind of becoming like first class citizens in the service OS. They still run in the container. They really they are, we really keep them secure. Uh, and, 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 uh, and, and, and the clear separation between the operating system for, for, for security reasons, but, but from the user, user experience point of view, you, you have really nice flows between the two operating systems. The, the, the user experience, the, the really native applications and say, uh, Android applications start to be kind of both uh, on, on, the, on the same level, which, which, which is what I mean by the first class citizen comment. So uh, when you have your content, uh, you can open it with service application, but you can also open it with, uh, with Android application. Uh, whether whether that's, that files or uh, documents or, or links or, or, or what, what kind of digital content it is. And it's also when you uh, want to share that, that content, uh, you, you, you now can share it to Twitter or, or LinkedIn or, or Zoom or, or, or whatnot. And, and, and I think these kind of um, integration points are really making a big difference to the, to, the, to the daily usage of the service OS and enabling a lot of, lot of, lot of really cool use cases. And uh, lastly, the science system image uh, is something that, that, that's now coming out and, and that's, um, there were some applications that you couldn't start, uh, you couldn't run and now, now we, we are getting like even, even more Android applications that, that, that you can run, uh, run on, 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 on selfies and on, on, on the app support product. Thank you. And you don't have to take my word for it. So there is the demo table David was mentioning, and we have a lot of those, uh, those uh, demos also there. Uh, we, it's mostly a device table, but, but uh, you just ask a sailor and we can demo, demo uh, the alphanumeric encryption, we can demo the uh, new browser engine, we can demo the latest app support, and, and all, all of these, these, these cool features uh, we, I, I, I was just showing. All right, then I'll ask David back here. Or com yeah. Okay. Let's see how this works. All right. Wow. Well, um, really great stuff. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you'll agree that it was wonderful to see the journey that Yola has come on and uh, the sort of stuff that we can see in future releases. Uh, but it, we felt that it wasn't really um, it wasn't really appropriate to have all of you come here from the community and not take the opportunity to celebrate some of the stuff that happens in the community by, in fact, many of you guys uh, potentially here in the room, in the room today. So um, hopefully some of you will have been aware that we ran a vote on the forum to give an award out to uh, the members of the community uh, that you had all felt were contributing most, giving the most energy, doing the best development, doing the best translation, all of those kinds of things, um, and so now it's my very happy job to tell you who the winners of, of those uh, awards are. Uh, the way we've done this is we've got a few awards that we decided within YOLA, and then we have the community vote after that. So let me start with the award for services to features. And the winner goes to Damien Caliste, who I'm sure... Uh, a very well-deserved round of applause, I would say. Damien has put a huge amount of work into the community and Selfish OS. Uh, are, you, um, are you aware of Damien's work? 
Yeah, good. Okay, that's good. Well, let me give you a quick summary. So I should say this is a quote that was actually added on the forum uh, for, for in, um, as part of the voting. Uh, his award is essentially for his astounding but humble contribution to various projects behind Selfish OS and his willingness to help in the forum. Uh, and just some of the things, let me give you a very quick roundup of some of the things that Damon has been involved in. He actually started work on Selfish OS about five years ago, thereabouts. And initially, he was working on the Documents app, which is based on Caligra. And he started initially putting some PRs together and improving that app, improving it. At that stage, it was still a, a, quite a developing app. Um, and then he moved on after that to doing stuff in the Calendar app. And I'm sure many of you are already using uh, the, the, the changes that he's put into the calendar app. He's done a huge amount of changes. He puts in new features and new PRs on a weekly basis into, into the calendar app to improve things. He's done the web calendar support. He's improved the Bootio sync process. He's also done stuff in email. He really produces a whole lo load of work and puts in effort across the entire operating system. Uh, and most recently, he has actually implemented a week view for the calendar, uh, something that people have been asking for for a long time. Um, so, uh, again, let's give a round of applause to Damien for all of the work he puts in. Okay, great stuff. So, the second award goes, to, uh, goes for services to hardware. And the winner of this award is Adam Pig. Uh, surprise. <laughs> so I have to say there's a lot of hot competition in this area. Um, uh, let me read out the quote. It's for his great work on platforms such as PinePhone, Vola, and integration of a Mazfish, um, which he's provided, um, and with, this, with the effort he's provided with Selfish OS to a whole lot of people. So uh, it already says a lot of stuff there. So as you know, um, a Mazfish is for the Mazfit, um, that is a smartwatch that his application is essentially the companion app that allows it to work but it's now been extended so that it also supports a whole load of other devices including the pine uh, um, the pine um, time which has become very popular recently um, he's also done a whole load of ports uh, it mentions Bola, um, the vola the pine tab the pine phone the fx tech pro as well is one of the ports that he put in um, so a huge amount of work in addition to that he's also now recently revitalize the Selfish Chum framework that I'm sure a lot of you are aware of, a repository for um, installing apps on your phone, open source apps. Uh, the energy he puts into the platform is phenomenal. Uh, so again, let's give a round of applause, please, to, for Adam Pig. All right, so uh, the third award goes for services to quality. And the winner of this award is... Atlachowski. <laughs> so I have to say, Atlachowski had a lot of support from inside Yola for this award. Uh, he, um, he basically is the person that keeps everyone else on track. He submits bugs for the early access releases in an incredible quantity. Um, uh, Yona tells me that after the Selfish 4 release, he submitted 17 bug reports. Uh, so if you want to win this award next time, you know what you've got to hit. Uh, his bug reports are not just frivolous, though. They are high quality. He puts in a lot of effort. They're very easy for us to follow. Um, it's really impressive work. And uh, he also has a really good eye for UI detail. Um, so he notices all of the little mistakes that we put in on purpose so that he can submit bug reports. Um, uh, you know, and, and we really appreciate all of the work that he does. Um, he also contributes to the Polish translation for the operating system as well. So I think very well-deserved award. Let's give him a round of applause. Uh, also, he has an avatar as well. The other guys could all do with avatars. Um, okay, and finally, we have the Community Choice Award. Now, this is the award that you all voted for, and we were bowled over by the voting that you put in. So, I mean, you know, incredible comments, a huge number. We had hundreds of votes. Uh, we were really happy to see that there was that much, um, uh, that much um, happy thoughts going towards all of the community members that put in so much work. 
So, without further ado, the very convincing winner of the Community Choice Award is Rinnegus. So, so this was very well deserved and very clearly deserved. He got more votes by quite a wide margin um, than the people, uh, the people following him. Uh, and uh, I think if you know his work, you'll understand exactly why. Uh, Pure Maps is one of his main applications. It provides navigation, a native navigation app for the operating system. It provides voice navigation. It's an incredible app. Uh, I'm sure a lot, of you, a lot of us use it every day. Uh, I wouldn't be here today quite literally if it weren't for Pure Maps. <laughs> uh, he's done a lot of other work in terms of the hardware support, in terms of ports, uh, and he's great on the, on the channels supporting other community members doing porting as well. So really phenomenal work. He's also involved with Pigs, with Adam Pig doing the selfish chum work, putting a lot, in a lot of effort to review applications, getting them into the repository. It's a really good initiative. Uh, and then finally, more recently, he's also, re very recently, he's just released his alphanumeric encryption for a number of ported apps, uh, which again, a lot of people uh, have been asking for. Uh, there will be an official version, as you've just seen today um, from Yorna's presentation, but his version works on ports, on the Tama port, uh, for example, for Sailfish, um, uh, so, uh, for Sony devices, I beg your pardon. Uh, and um, it's increasing the security that we've all um, uh, come to appreciate from Sailfish, I think. So, once again, a big round of applause for the person you voted for. Congratulations to all of them. Thanks very much. Congratulations to them all. Okay, so uh, that wraps up the presentations that we had for you today. Um, I think it's correct to say, well, you can go and see the demos. Um, is it correct to say that there will also be some food coming up as well? Yeah, more than correct. And, uh, we, are, we are also happy to take, if there's any questions, I don't know, do we need to get that anymore to the streaming. Thank you, David, and thank you, thank you, Jona. But, uh, but hey, let's all enjoy today. Let's celebrate. Uh, let's enjoy Selfies always uh, here together, see the demos, enjoy some drinks and food, and just be welcome, informal. Thank you.